we've worked very hard on the referee fitness. We've worked uh, in tandem with Professor Niall Moyna in DCU and the sports science department in DCU, I suppose, generally speaking, where you know we've, we've built a program, um, Niall has built a program for us where we have uh, fitness tests in January and May for the National League panel in January and the Championship panel in May. And around that then we've uh, a number of training sessions where Niall actually conducts training sessions with the lads. So I suppose, look at it, it's, it's a very important aspect of refereeing. Of course, it's not, it's not the only aspect of refereeing, but it's, it is very important and we've worked very hard on improving referees' fitness over the last number of years. Science had moved on and a lot of the teams, particularly the Ulster teams, are now starting to use science in the preparation of their teams and the teams are just getting fitter. And the, the day of the referee, you know, taking the winter off and turning back on again in March or April was long gone. And I think the GEA realised that because the level, the fitness level of the players had moved way beyond that of the players, something had to be done. It's amazing the way it's, I suppose, football and hurling have, I suppose, got fitter and, and faster and uh, I suppose we've had to kind of keep up, like, so, um, be a lot more scientific as well, like, previously we used to do kind of, um, I think seven and a half laps or 3,000 metre run or thereabouts in 15 and a half minutes. Now like it's kind of bleep tests and it sprints and I suppose again it reflects I suppose the way inter-county teams are gone. Do you know there's very few inter-county teams doing laps and laps. Mick, Mick Dwyer and Leash and Calair were the last team start doing laps and laps and laps. Now it's all about sprints and science and ladders and you name it. So yeah, it's uh, it's fairly big changes all right, John. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried about the, the kilometres running because you run as much as you have to in a match to make the correct calls, but certainly you're going to push yourself. I mean, any referee that starts off at the start of the year wants to referee an All-Ireland final, and that means performing at the highest level he can throughout the whole year. Um, one mistake could cost you a place in a, in a quarter-final, appointment, semi-final or final. So our main goal is to referee that All-Ireland final, and that means we have to be as fit as we can throughout the whole of the year. There's a lot of guys out there um in serious shape, so there is like I've come into this um, uh, when I, four years ago when I was 25 years of age, so I was in quite good shape at that time coming in. And uh, every year since I've been on this uh, referees panel, the fitness has got uh, higher and higher every year, and the and uh, you know the standards demanded of the the referee is getting higher and higher every year. You know the bar is right right up there with what players are achieving. You know. We want to try to push ourselves to get to the top as well, so we have to be as fit as the players are really, so you're, you're trying to train as hard as, as we can I suppose. From when I started probably back in 2007 and worked into Leinster and that, um, it's been just the, the, the fitness levels have got higher and higher as we went on. Um, from when I started on the national panel even, you know, the, the fitness levels that we have to get to now compared to what we were back in 2011 are far, far higher than what they were. They'll be excellent training sessions for our club referees to follow when they're getting into it, you know, pre-season and thereafter during their season during their work there'll be very good sessions for them to follow i mean well that's you know it's interesting i mean the problem with gps and a lot of this modern technology you're getting thousands of pieces of information every minute and it's what to do and to, to present that in a way that's that's useful to the referees and i mean there was a few interesting things this year there was no difference in any of the performance parameters between hurling and football referees. And I was always under the opinion that hurling referees stood in the middle of the pitch and the ball just went over their head for the, for the entirety of the game. And obviously it's not. I mean, no matter what parameter we looked at, they were identical. And also, on average, both hurling and football referees are covering 10k per game. And now most of it is at low intensities, but there are periods of the game where they really have to exercise or run at speeds beyond 22 kilometres an hour. So, you know, so a bit like the players, they have to have the speed, they have to have the speed endurance, and they have to have the, the general endurance as well. So all of these fitness components that the players are developing, we're finding from the GPS that the referees are now going to also have to develop.